What's up? It's Skater Gamer here, and um, I'm gonna start a new Let's Play. And as you can see, uh, this Let's Play will be on a game called Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. So, I've already done a bit, as you can see. So, I do have a bunch of um, later unlocked in the game. Uh, Mo uh, items such as drones and um, uh, other stuff. Hang on, I'll just um, need to do something. There we go, I'm good. So I've got a bunch of um, drones. Well, I've got two drones and I've got one uh, super that you really shouldn't have or you wouldn't have at this point in time uh, for just level one. But anyway, let's get ahead with it. Um, so this is the beginning. Now, as you can see, it's an awesome looking game uh, as compared to Geometry Wars 2, Geometry Wars Retro Evolved, Geometry Wars Galaxies. Um, Still awesome music, similar enemies, well, still uses the same enemies, uh, except it does have a few new ones, but uh, they're not really in this point in the game yet, so we'll just ignore uh, me going through these. But anyway, so we've come, we've got a bunch of um, the starting enemies that you would usually have, so these blue ones are called grunts. Uh, the purple ones that just spin around, just wander around, are called Wanderers. <laughs> and these pink ones, uh, were introduced in Geometry Wars 2 and Geometry Wars Touch. I don't know what their name is, but I just call them Flippers, because pretty much that's what they do, they flip. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm going to press Q and use a Super. Uh, so this super, uh, the attack drone following me, which is also helping me attack, uh, it's dropping a bunch of, um, well, not more, but it was dropping a bunch of mines, so that when enemies run over them, they die. Uh, I didn't get my 522,000, unfortunately, but I got a score that I'm happy with, just to put on here, so... Anyway, now we're going to go into the dead planet. Now, this is something cool that I like about this game. It's a 3D environment. Like, it's a sphere. What's not to love about a 3D sphere that you can just go around and shoot all your enemies? <laughs> um, and, yeah. <laughs> So these orange things that are just moving around are called darts, uh, and if you saw that little circle that I um, just destroyed, it's called a super state. Uh, there's usually a lot more circles, but uh, I had already destroyed some before I actually got it on screen. Uh, and I know that because these bullets just keep going around on, a th on the 3D map. Uh, so it'll get stuff that you won't see on screen so the sort of half transparent scores that you see popping up uh, will uh, indicate that you've just shot enemies that you can't see on screen. That was another super state that I don't think I got the super state. I think I lost it but 
Anyway, so these tiny orange triangles are called mayflies. And they can get very, very, very annoying. Um, like, they just come at you from nowhere. And they're actually pretty fast. But the thing I like about them in this game is they actually took away this annoying noise that they had it originally had when they were introduced in um, Geometry Wars Galaxies. Um, they originally had this really in monotonous sound like this, this um, uh, buzz and it get, got really annoying but you knew when they were there. And um, as a matter of fact the Mayflies were actually blue uh, in Geometry Wars galaxies um so again i didn't quite get my high score but it took me a while to get these okay so twisted blister uh this one is in a different mode it's not deadline so as you what you'll see there won't be a time limit up here uh this one is part of a game mode called evolve which is uh just the regular gameplay mode that was introduced in the first Geometry Awards game. Um, however, there are new enemies in this uh, because it's evolved, not retro evolved. And the map isn't obviously like a rectangle, it's more like a twisted, distorted rectangle, uh, which also adds to the 3D-ness. Um, Anyway, so now, uh, this is a, uh, a, oh my goodness, I died by my own super state, and that was a good one too, quadfire, but, anyway, um, so, what you just saw with all the darts spawning on the screen and coming at me, um, that's actually a aspect of a game mode called Waves, which was introduced in uh, Geometry Wars 2 and Touch. Oh my goodness! I don't want to die so early in the game! Uh, level. As you can see, I only have three lives. And that's not much, but most of these modes you only have one life, but... Oh my goodness, I do not want to waste a life so early in the level. Like, that's not a good idea. Like, if, if you're new to the game, obviously that's going to happen quite a bit. But if you're quite good at the game and you die really early, I'd recommend resetting. I was worried I was about to die then. So now the waves aspect uh, which waves I don't think is in adventure mode so I'm going to have to show you maybe on after I complete adventure mode so as you could just saw there is a golden cross uh, that is a new enemy called the yellow cross now we get more mayflies more darts more mayflies some wanderers almost got killed by a bunch of grunts. Now that pink thing that just went straight at me, that, that I just shot, that's called a spinner. Uh, it's probably the cause of most of my deaths in um in Geometry Wars Galaxies. Um, and because they can literally come at you and you don't even see them until you die. So this thing here is called a wormhole. Um, yeah, wormhole. Um, so what that does, it literally creates a wormhole that will suck enemies in. And if it gets too big, which I really don't want to show you, it'll actually uh, create neutrons, which come at you really, really quickly. And um, they're actually really difficult to dodge. Um, but it's actually pretty helpful having a 3D grid when you have, um, I'm actually going to use, oh my gosh, I just wasted a 
bomb when I was using my super, but anyway, now I've just got a bunch of bomb uh, mines to help me out. Call them bombs. A bomb is something that obliterates everything on the screen. Anyway, I got five million. Um, no, six million. Uh, eight million is a pretty tricky score, and as you can see, I haven't got three stars on this because uh, I need to get fifteen million and on any evolved mode, even on Geometry Wars Touch, which is the one I play. Uh, my best is also 8 million. Um, but anyway, now we've got a thing called Soul Window. This is another deadline map. As you can see, we've got the time limit there. And I actually like the look of this map. It's, like, awesome, in my opinion. Like, because, uh... In Geometry Wars, like, I, I like how they brought back the custom maps, like, the different shaped maps, not custom maps, you can't customise your own, uh, but anyway, it would be cool if you could, though, uh, but, yeah, or, blah, 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 uh, but anyway, in Geometry Wars Retro Evolved and Geometry Wars 2, oh, get that, oh, I missed it. Um, it was just a regular flat square or rectangle or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but in Geometry Wars Galaxies and now this, uh, there's like different shape maps. In this there are 3D maps. I actually like having different varieties of what a map looks like. It makes it like a bit different every time. Um... But yeah, oh no, no, we've got a bunch of mayflies. I'm actually going to use a bomb. And oh, I thought we were about to get trapped there. Now I'm going to use a super. Get the big ones. So, oh, I ran into it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these little green things that are dropping everywhere, they're called geoms. Um. And so they increase your multiplier, uh, allowing you to get more points. And the thing I like about Geons is it's not... Oh, I don't have any bombs. Come on. It's, it's not extreme... It's not overly difficult to um, increase your multiplier like it is in Retro Evolved. Because nothing drops Geons. Um... What? Oh my goodness, I was a hundred thousand points behind my high score. If I hadn't died just then, I would have gotten it. Oh no. That's not good. Whew, but um... Anyway, so the massive ones you just saw, I think increase your uh, multiplier by quite a bit actually. And if you can't... Oh, I can't access my um, cursor but if you can see at the top right of the screen next to the stars it says I've got 23,000 little diamonds or whatever they are uh, you can this is something that was used in Geometry Wars Galaxies as well which Adventure Mode was also used in that as well um, you can use the geoms that you collect as a currency to buy and upgrade stuff. Um, which I like about that. I actually like the galaxies mode in um, Geometry Wards Galaxies. It, it makes it more fun rather than just having a couple of modes to play in or just one and then that's it. Like you actually get a bit of an adventure. Now, this is something new that's been included in the Geometry Wars series. It's a boss. Um, and so I think every, yeah, every five levels, um, maybe every ten later on, um, uh, there is a boss. And so, actually the background on, um, on the maps 
uh, indicate which type of boss you're going to come across. So um, I'm actually going to use a super now. So it's blue. So the boss is a sapphire, pretty much. It's a massive sapphire that comes at you and attacks you. And unfortunately, bombs don't destroy it. So the trick with the boss maps is to kill as many enemies on the screen as you can before uh, you destroy the boss. Uh, which is how I got my 2 million score, but... Anyway, so we've just defeated Sapphire. So all the blue levels are now done. Now these ones are red. Uh, so... I th so... If you can probably guess, the boss is a ruby. But I'm not going to do that now because we're running out of time. So, see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this was a new interesting Let's Play. Uh, which I don't actually think anyone has done a Let's Play on Geometry Wars 3. Um, I haven't seen one. Um... Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit with the next episode of Geometry Wars.